everybody it's Shelby with a chick plus three welcome I went to the Dollar Tree and I found some incredible things I cannot wait to share them with you all I'm gonna jump right in I hope you'll join me what do you say let's go All right, so one of my favorite aisles at the Dollar Tree is the Crafter Square aisle because I love to do crafting. Well, look what I found today. Eight pieces of these little wooden acorns. Aren't they just so adorable? And not only did I find the acorns, but I also found the little apples and you get eight in here also. How cute. And then look at even the mushrooms and eight pieces of the mushrooms. So how sweet would all these be to use in making things like your gnomes and your fairy gardens? Um, I don't know. I think there's all kinds of ideas for these and I'm really looking forward to seeing what I can come up with. All right, I think this is my newest addiction. I can't believe it took me so long to start picking it up, but now that I have, I am absolutely loving this. It is becoming one of my new favorite crafting items and it is the vinyl. Now I don't have a Cricut, but I use the vinyl in other ways. So I found the black and white buffalo check. I already have the red and black buffalo check, but this is something that I can use in my home year round. And speaking of the vinyl, at the end of this video, I am going to have a Halloween DIY that I am so excited to share in which I used this yellow vinyl. So I hope you will stay to the end and see that and let me know guys what you think of it. Now these next items, I don't know what I'm going to do with them yet, but I absolutely could not leave them hanging there on on the rack. It is this galvanized witch hat. Look at this. It has a little twine hanger if you wanted to hang it up. So I got the witch hat and then I also picked up the galvanized jack-o-lantern. I think he is so sweet and what I like about these is they actually are metal so I'm thinking these will be really fun to hang outside like from my tree in the front and then they can just blow in the wind. So along those lines I got the ghost. I think maybe he's my favorite. I don't know. He's like the little ghost back in Pac-Man. Um, I don't know if any of you remember that game. My kids when they were little used to play it at the dentist office in the waiting room. So this guy reminds me of that. But I'm going to look up and see if there are any like DIY treatments that maybe I could do something to give these a little age or something like that. But I think again from a tree branch or off a garden stake outside these will be adorable for the holiday. I found quite a bit of crafty stuff today. Now look at this. I don't know. I picked it up but this is definitely something that is just going to be stored away. Possibly I could use it for Christmas but it really kind of screams summer to me and it is this star wreath form. Can you see that there? It's very like dimensional. So I'm not really sure what I will be doing with this star. Probably putting it away until next year, but it was something that I thought was different and that I could use. Now this is definitely something I can use right now. Look at this wood truck with the pumpkins. I am going to paint this up and then put it in the center of a boxwood wreath that I have hanging in my hallway. I think it's the perfect little touch for that. It does come with the little twine hanger. You could just cut that right out. Um, you can fill the little holes if you want to be bothered with the wood filler or the spackle that the Dollar Tree sells. In all honesty, I'll probably just leave those, but I thought that this was really cute and I can personalize it any way I want. And I also found some DIY stickers. These are the wood stickers but look at them. They have like the 
cricket looking paper already on them. The orange has a nice glittery sparkle to it. The black is a matte finish. They do have this little pop-out glue dot on the back. Um, so that is what's making them a sticker. Just that little glue dot there. So you could actually just pull that right off. What I think I'm going to do is glue some of these on some popsicle sticks and just put them in my house plants around the house. I think that will be so adorable. So I also picked them up, of course, in this spooky theme for Halloween. Look at that. The spider, the haunted house, the witch. These are fantastic. And then I picked up a pair of these. I like these little solar stakes. Now my front yard has a lot of shade, but once the leaves all start to fall from the tree, I'll probably get a little bit better light from these. There's the little solar panel on the back. These do work rather nicely. They also had them in jack-o'-lanterns and I want to say skulls this year, but I went with the ghost and just, um, the first time I bought these, this sounds so ridiculous, but I was just sticking them in the ground like this and I'm like, they're so blunt, how do they work? And then I literally saw somebody on YouTube pull the stake out from the bottom. And I was like, I can't believe I never knew that. So just beware when you pull them out of the packaging, like the box that they're in on display at the Dollar Tree, don't leave your little stake behind because that is just stuck in there. And it does have the little tab there. You pull that out and then you will be Good to go. So I picked up a pair of these solar lights and you actually can use these indoors also if you have a nice sunny spot. Then at night it makes a really cute little night light. Now my friend Marianne sent me a Halloween tree. I had never seen them and so I was so appreciative of that. Well my store finally got them in. So I grabbed one of them to now send this to somebody to pay it forward because if they're having as much difficulty as I was, um, you know, it's fun when we can pick things up for others. And my store only had five of these. I just can't wait to get mine up and decorated that Marianne sent me. Um, once I do that, I'm sure I will share pictures with you. And if you guys are putting your Halloween trees up and decorating them, I would love it if you would send me a photo too. It's so fun to see what everybody does with their Dollar Tree goodies. And speaking of goodies, look at these. I finally found more of them, and they're the dog collar accessories. Look at this little pair. This is the little leopard print, and then this one here actually has bones and dog paws on it. So I thought those would be really cute. I need to give my grand pups some stocking stuffers too. So this will work perfectly for that. And also these are finally back in stock. <laughs> the Sunbest Fiber Boost Bars. So I picked up the lemon to send off to a friend and then I got a box for myself and also the chocolate. I love these. I'm not sure which one is my favorite. I really thought the chocolate was, but I got to tell you, this lemon is awfully delicious too. So if you can find these, I would scoop them up. You get three bars in a box, but they really are tasty and I think they are quite filling. And I also picked up this little bowl. Now this is just a little cat dish. I mean, that's what it's sold at. I have three little dogs and my little Shih Tzu. This is the perfect size for her. I really like that it has this rubberized no slip bottom. So that will be perfect because they tend to push their bowls while they eat if they don't have a non-slip grip on the bottom. 
They had them in pink and blue and purple, but I just went with the basic gray kind of to match her fur. Now I have picked up these Loma Linda products in the past and my husband and I are really enjoying them. They're the plant-based protein products. Well, this one is called a Greek bowl. It has chickpeas, olive oil, and brown rice in it. 60 seconds in the microwave and this is more than enough food, I'm telling you, as a sign for the two of us. This actually says that it's one serving per container, but this makes a lot of food. They have a nice long shelf life, so it's a good product if you live someplace where there can be a lot of winter storms, like there are where I am, um, that you can just put it away so that if the weather is bad and you don't want to have to travel to get out to the grocery store, you'll have some staples in your pantry that you can just uh, whip together a quick easy meal. Along those same lines, preparing for bad weather is the boxed almond milk. I get the unsweetened almond original. They also have the sweetened and then they have uh, milk ones too. We always drink almond milk prior to finding it at the Dollar Tree. So when it showed up at the Dollar Tree, I was super excited because that is my kind of price. Another favorite from the Dollar Tree are the Uncle Al cookies. My husband is addicted to these. This time I got him the duplex creams. The Dollar Tree does carry these in lemon and vanilla also. They are all excellent. What I wish the Dollar Tree would come out with would be a peanut butter sandwich cookie. An Uncle Al's peanut butter sandwich cookie sounds delicious. But if you see these and you like a nice hearty sandwich cookie, then you cannot go wrong with these. And if you like fruit chews, this is another great deal because you get one pound. This is a mega bag of candy. Back when my husband was on home hemodialysis here, I used to always get him this as a nice little treat. He just developed the habit and has kept it up. It is made with real fruit juice. The brand is O Gourmet, but it's approximately a hundred pieces in a one pound bag. Great deal. Oh, and my son has been really liking this. I have not tasted it yet because when I purchase it, I've been passing it on to him because it has 17 grams of protein in it, 120 calories. But what I like is it has 75% low sugar. But so this is a dark chocolate milk. It says that it's using milk from family owned farms. Every can is filled with protein and electrolytes. And the warning on the can says, shake it good, crack it slow, shamelessly chug. <laughs> so I grabbed him another one of those. Okay, so I'm working on my haunted house. So I took this wood cutout and the yellow vinyl from the Dollar Tree. And I laid it down and I traced out the haunted house on it because what I'm going to do is use this so that it looks like there are lights on in my haunted house. I'm getting it set up to paint and here it is painted black. I just used a dollar black craft paint. I painted the pair of them. It only took one coat and these are those little wood pieces from the Dollar Tree. I'm painting those black also. Here you can see the yellow vinyl stuck on the back and then this one I decided to not use so much vinyl and just cut out pieces and that is what it looks like with the lights on. Now I want these to stand up so I'm going to use these wood cubes from the Dollar Tree and just hot glue them onto the back of the house. There you can see what it looks like. I used eight across and now I glued those to the black painted base. There's a shot from the side. 
and that's the other house so that you can see exactly what I did and I decided to paint those two in case they end up showing in how I have it displayed. That's the second house. And here they are all completed. Super simple, friendly, friendly budget decor. I am very pleased with how they turned out. Thanks everybody for taking time out of your busy day to spend a little bit of it with me. I appreciate each and every one of you. And until tomorrow, remember, please be well.